How's it going guys and welcome to Knife Banner. Today we are looking at some new stuff from We Knives for 2021. We got our buddy Seth in house. How's it going? It's going great. Dude, so stoked to have you here. Happy to be here for the first time or second time. First or second, depending on when this video comes out. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it's awesome because Seth is local. He lives here in Utah. You're just down the street. Yeah. So uh, we get to have him in house, which is rad. We get some knives on the table and uh, let's jump into the first one. Yeah, this guy, um, when I opened this thing up, um, it went straight in my pocket. I will tell you right now, there's a lot of things I love about this knife, but the name got me. The thug. The thug. <laughs> because I opened this one, I was like, ooh, that's a bruiser. And I'm like, what's this called? And I go look, I'm like, it's called the thug. Okay, yeah, no, it makes sense. <laughs> yeah. So on this one in particular, so 20 CV blade, right? On, yep. on both of them. It. And you've got a uh, carbon fiber over mm -hmm. there, right? And then this one here has that beautiful hand rub finish that we does. I've never yeah. seen anybody else at least do it this way. Um, hand rub finish across the frame, but then also into the blade. Yeah. So it just transfers from frame to blade. It's, it's, on, it's on the it's on the clip, and yeah. both and both of them actually have that. Um, the this carbon fiber version. Yeah. Has got that same all on the other side. Look on the other oh, side. Man, it's yep. so cool. And then you know the aging that's done on the pivot is really neat. Yeah. Um, for the pivot there, and then like you said, the pocket clip. I mean, even down to the thumb stud, just everything matches perfectly. And when you open this thing, it just. I mean, listen to this guy. It's it's just insane. Like, I love it. It's a bruiser awesome. or it's a thug, so. The compound grind on that blade is just super attractive. Yeah, um, yeah. I really, really love this knife. Yeah, just awesome, awesome knife. Exactly what we would expect from We Knives. I like that you were like, this was the one that went right in my pocket. Yeah, this is, I, <laughs> this is a Matthew Christensen design. Oh, cool, right I on. Didn't yeah. mention that. Yeah, great. Cool, um, next. The next one up also has kind of a, well, the one that I have kind of has a fun finish. What's the story on this guy? Uh, this is a Ray Laconico design. This is the Esprit. Um, this is a thumb stud or front flipper action knife. Yeah, and I can get a good, I just got these guys. So I can get a pretty good, mm, let's see for camera. There we go, nice. yeah, so a thumb roll, front flipper, however you want to do it. But yeah, kind of cool, have those double options. Yep, and you've got the orange peel texture yep. on your titanium. Not lemon peel. <laughs> when we were looking, I was like, oh, that's a lemon peel, right? I'm like, ah, oh, yeah, orange peel. <laughs> so orange peel finish, 20 CV blade. Um, I like the little Laconico shout out on the spine yep. without yep. being loud and obnoxious, not a ton of uh, billboarding, which is great. And then, you know, you got this nice deep carry pocket clip with the recessed screws. So no wear on the pocket, just smooth in and out on that. Also recessed into the uh, handle as yeah, well. Yeah, all the way in, yeah. exactly. Really, really nice. And uh, yeah, just a, just a really great uh, design. Yeah, this one, this is a knife that's designed uh, like it's meant to be used. Yeah. Uh, feels really good in the hand. The, yeah, fills the, the hand really well. The dimensions are great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, super nice. This, this one's got the uh, kind of a hammered look on that titanium on the one side. Ooh, I like that, yeah. And then the carbon fiber on the other. Cool. That marbled carbon fiber, really yeah. good looking knife. And Esprit, so it's spelled E-S-P-I-R-T. And I was like, oh, is this a spirit, a spree? How do you say it? So we looked up the definition and uh, there was a couple definitions, but I'm gonna go with vivacious. Vivacious was one of the definitions. So get yourself a vivacious knife in 2021. <laughs> that, that works. <laughs> this one's a bit of an enigma, which I'm pretty yeah. excited about. Yeah. So what's, what's the name on this one? What's the story on this one? This is the Justin Lundquist design. Uh, this is the Ilodon. And this is Justin's first attempt at an integral design. Cool. And he made an integral uh, with G10 handle. It's a, what is it, what, top? Yeah, top opener. Top like flipper. Yeah, because it's it's uh, it's his centered, you know, to keep everything really like looking yeah. integral, right? As yeah. simple as possible. So you've got that centered flipper there. I wouldn't call it a front flipper by any mm -hmm. measure. Yeah, it's definitely top flipper. Top flipper. Yeah. And it's, pretty, it's really cool because you can't even hardly see that it's got a tab to open. Yeah. It's, just, it's just really hidden in there. Yeah. It almost doesn't even look like a knife. Um, everything is just super sleek. Um, you've got that pocket clip that just comes out of the back out of nowhere. Um, it's available in a couple of different, we'll hit the pocket clip here in a second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> 20 CV blade on this one as well. 20 CV. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, dagger style blade. Um, that's It's only sharpened on one side and the other side of the blade is, uh, it's super thin. It looks like it's gonna be a blade and like it's gonna bite you. Yeah. But it actually feels really comfortable. It's rounded off on the edges. It's not sharp. So you're not gonna get yourself cut on the, the other side of that dagger blade. And you've got a drop point. Yeah, and then the drop point on this one. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, so the pocket clip. So this is a really clean knife. Uh, like you said, almost doesn't look like a knife. Like it, it, it's very it's very secretive, it's very hidden, right? right? Um, so, but with the pocket clip, there's no hardware on the pocket clip. So I was looking at it and I was like, well, how does the pocket clip go on? So the screws are actually on the inside of the frame here. Mm -hmm. 
neat design, and also kind of cool to know that this is his first integral. Yep. Yeah, in G10, yep. which is also kind of cool. Yeah. So I thought it was, thought it was really, really a unique uh, style here. Really yeah, I like it. I like it. Um, now the next one is an update to what is kind of a classic in the Wii lineup, mm -hmm. right? Just kind of a new version of it. Yep, a little bit smaller. And this is the 3.0, Miss Cretan 3.0. Miss Cretan 3.0. In reference yeah. to the blade, it's, it's like 3.02 inches. Yeah, it's about three inches, right around yep. three inches. And this is a Brad Zinker design. Correct. Right, yeah. So Brad Zinker design, uh, titanium construction, 20 CV blade. And you can see very similar to the original, just shrunk down a bit. Um, and yeah. Not it's a little bit, little bit easier to uh, fit in your pocket yeah. without going so deep into the pocket. So yeah. it's, it's a really nice carry. It's super you know, thin, nice I've, and lightweight. I've always liked the design of the original because it's so thin, yeah. but honestly, it's always been a little long yeah. for me. Uh, so I kind of like to see this 3.0, a little bit shorter. Yep. Um, maybe more people carry it that way. But uh, I, re I really like the um, the flat grind on the blade with that thin blade stock. Yeah. Really nice. Yeah, it makes it real slicey, I'm sure. Yep. Cool. Um, and the next one up, who designed this one? Uh, which one we got? The, oh, the OSS Dagger. Yeah, the OSS Dagger. That is a also a uh, Justin Lindquist It design. is a Lundquist. Okay, that's what I thought. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So this one's pretty cool. So I'm going to show you guys. So this is the neck knife configuration. Mm -hmm. um, but you've got a couple of different configurations there. Yeah, so this one we debuted last year at the SHOT Show as well. Um, and it didn't make it on uh, the 2020 production schedule, but we will be releasing it this year. Um, it comes with a pocket clip that has a uh, adjustable locking clip here so you can pop that thing out uh, stick it on your belt locks into place oh. and then you can <laughs> sorry you said pocket clip and i'm looking I'm like that's a big pocket sorry clip. belt clip that there we belt go clip. belt clip <laughs> well, whatever yeah whatever Semantics. i mean you could put it in your pocket why not <laughs> you can you can flip that belt clip around <laughs> uh, so you can carry the knife either uh, horizontal or vertical Cool. Or on your neck. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, I think this makes a, a, an awesome little neck knife. Um, and because this is a true dagger blade, uh, so it is sharp on both sides, and it the sheath is it is um, one way, not ambidextrous, uh, mm -hmm. which is bad for me because I always put them in backwards because I'm doesn't matter. I always do it. So yeah, pretty cool. I, I really like the uh, the way that Justin designed this to have the G10 integrate with the steel. Mm -hmm. um, it allows for several different colors and that G10 just kind of seamlessly actually it pushes through. Yeah. So you got one piece of G10 and you got one piece of steel and then it's just all made it perfectly oh, together. That's cool. I didn't realize. So the G10 on the back is the same G10 mm -hmm. you're seeing on the front. Yep. Uh, that's actually really, really neat. And it adds a little bit of grip, right? This is obviously a very small knife. So yep. two finger, maybe a three finger, depending on how many you're, the size of your hand. Um, but that G10 does add some nice grip to it. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. I didn't realize it was the same piece. And this is very similar to another uh, Lundquist design that you guys have, right? You were saying that the blade, you, you, you're like, oh, this really reminded me of the blade profile. On this. Well, yeah, I mean, you've got the angst there and it's got the same styling as well with the, with those little ridges that come through and that yeah. little that little uh, oval section. Yeah. But it's just, a, it's just a little tiny fixed blade angst. Yeah, awesome, love it. Just a little angst, you know? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> None of that big teenage <laughs> angst, just a little angst. <laughs> Awesome. Um, well, it's cool to see some updates. It's cool to see some uh, changes, you know, with, with that angst. Um, and then you've got an update with, uh, I don't know if you guys have heard of this knife. There's this knife called the Wee Banter. Uh, it's pretty cool. It's made by this guy, Ben Peterson. I don't know if you've ever heard of him. Check him out or something. Um, but you guys have some new colors yeah. in the banter, yeah. which is really exciting. I stole this one. Uh, not really, I'm gonna give it back, but I want to steal this one because it is beautiful. Um, these both come in S35 VN, Correct. like the standard banter yep. does. But this has got that OD green. Uh, I'm not gonna say these are actually brass, but kind of brassish brass yeah, color. Yeah, just, just a little bit of yeah. pop, a little bit of bling on yeah, that. Yeah, a little one. bit of color there, and uh, yeah, cool. Just really cool, 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 cool knife. So, and then you've got, uh, got a great gray. one, right? Yep. So we got these two will be available shortly. Awesome. So if you haven't got a banter yet, or if you do have a banter and you need to get another one like me, uh, <laughs> we'll have some new colorways here at Blade HQ very shortly of uh, fan favorite banter. And I think that's all we got. That's it for we. That's awesome. I love it. Um, now, we did a pocket check. If you guys haven't seen the Civivi video yet, make sure to check out our Civivi video because uh, we did a pocket check with Seth. You were carrying two Civivis. Mm -hmm. So out of the, on the table, you were mentioning, not it's not called the bruiser, it's called the thug. The thug. So is the thug, is that your pick off the table? Would it be the thug? It is, and that's cool. the one that will go in my pocket when I'm done with that button lock element. Awesome, I love it. <laughs> you know, and I, honestly, I'm gonna have to go thug too. Like, yeah. it's it's not my normal jam by any measure. I like the compound grinds and stuff, but I usually go with a more simple knife. 
man, the way that thing opens, it just, I don't know, there's something substantial to it. Yeah, yeah it's, I, it's, I like it's that. fun, it feels good. Really cool. Sweet. Well, uh, dude, thanks so much for taking time. Love it. Really appreciate it. And thank you guys for following along. Make sure to check out our playlist with all of the new 2021 product coming your way. We'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching our preview of some sweet 2021 knives. Make sure to subscribe to Blade HQ for more content like this. You can find all the knives in this video over at bladehq.com. And down below, you'll find a sweet 2021 playlist for all the new knives that are out there.